Welcome friends, it's Gisa from Butterfly Garden. Today I have a story for you and it's called Lucy's Umbrella. It's written by Sarah Madden and illustrated by Haley Halston. This is Lucy. Lucy loves to wear different patterns, colors, and fabrics. She also likes to admire her reflection and the patterns on her skin. Each beautiful spot makes her who she is. Because Lucy lives in Seattle, she uses her umbrella nearly every day. Whenever Lucy finds something beautiful, she makes a note of it inside her umbrella to remind her of the beauty all around her. Today, Lucy is going to the park to meet her mother for lunch. As she walks, the wind sweeps her umbrella away. She chases it to her friend, Lacey's front yard. Lacey wears different colors on her clothes and in her hair. She likes to accessorize with as many different shades as possible. Lucy loves this about Lacey. Lacey smiles, closes the umbrella, and hands it back to Lucy. Thanks, Lucy says, and hugs her. As she continues her way to the park, she takes out her pen and adds Lacey's sense of style to her umbrella of beautiful things. On the path, Lucy notices some ladybugs on a small bush. She stops to admire the patterns on the, of the little insects. She takes a moment to draw a ladybug on her umbrella and to write so beautiful under her drawing. When it starts raining, Lucy opens her umbrella and finds a frog inside. It hops onto the ground and Lucy admires the swirling shapes on its skin. She laughs when it croaks. She draws the frog on her umbrella and writes, brilliant. Lucy's friend, Lorna, sees her on the path and runs to her side. They hold hands and jump over puddles together. Lorna has a talent for face painting. Today she decorated her face with beautiful colors to look like a blue butterfly. When Lorna leaves to go back home, she and Lucy wave goodbye. Lucy adds Lorna's flair for imagination to her umbrella. Further down the path, a tree lizard jumps onto Lucy's umbrella. She holds it carefully in her hands and look at, looks at the stripes on its tail. After gently placing it on a nearby tree, Lucy draws a lizard on her umbrella. At the park entrance, Lucy watches a bee land on a lilac bush. Both the bush and the bee have colors and patterns that she adores. When the bee flies away, Lucy smells the sweet flowers. Then she draws a bee on her umbrella. Once the rain stops, Lucy closes her umbrella and a butterfly lands on her nose. She notices that its pattern is similar to the one on her hand. She admires her hand and the butterfly. She writes, I am beautiful on her umbrella. Lucy sees her mom, Linda, waiting under the gazebo with their Dalmatian, Lizzie. Lunch is ready. She loves to see the park in all its beauty during the rainy spring day. She appreciates the new buds on the trees, the freshly grown grass, and the blossoming flowers. Lucy and her mom share their sandwich, Lucy getting the larger half. She hugs Lizzie, who licks her face. On their way home, Linda and Lucy hold hands under their umbrella. A rainbow appears over the horizon and Lucy decides she will write about it on her umbrella when she gets home. Later, Lucy invites Lacey and Lorna over. They share pink marble cookies that Lucy's mom made for them. They spend the rest of the afternoon playing hopscotch, jump rope, and painting each other's nails. 
At bedtime, her mom asks, what did you find today, Lucy? Lucy opens her umbrella and tells her mom about all the wonderful things she found, all written on her special umbrella. Hi there, it's Lucy. You may have wondered where I got the beautiful, unique spots on my skin. Well, let me tell you. I have a condition called vitiligo. Have you heard of it? If not, here are a few fun facts about it. My dad, Tyler, helped me research this information online. He reminds me every day how lucky I am to be me. Vitiligo happens when the cells that make the color on my skin are destroyed in certain areas. It's sort of like the opposite of freckles, where there are too many color cells in your skin. All it means is that in some places, I don't have my natural coloring on my skin. Vitiligo is not contagious. Like freckles, some people have it, some people don't. Just ask my friends, Lacey and Lorna. We hold hands and give hugs all the time, but they don't have my special spots. Vitiligo only affects the skin, and it is not dangerous. There is nothing wrong inside or outside of me. I just have a little bit more variety than most people on my skin. If you would like to learn more about vitiligo, here are some great websites that will answer your questions. I love my vitiligo and the fun patterns that it gives my skin. Whether you have vitiligo, freckles, neither, or any other qualities that make you look different, just remember that you are special and beautiful exactly the way you are. And that's the end of our story. Remember to like and subscribe in order to find out about our future stories. <laughs>